So we had to backtrack after hitting the patch of snow on the road. We came back about a mile on Forest Service Road 90 or 49. And we found this great, amazing place to boondock. And I'm looking right at the cedar tree. It's an old stunted cedar tree. And a minute ago, the sun was out and it was just lighting it up. So I'm hoping the sun comes out again like that. Can't wait to get the drone up and show you this. I mean, this whole thing, we're right on the edge of an old lava field. So this just goes to prove that we don't always have to camp right next to a lake or a stream to have an exciting time. So there's a bunch of sunken, collapsed lava tubes and some lava tubes that are still intact around here that you can walk to and hike to. It's just absolutely beautiful here. What a cool place to explore. Our van is just around the corner here. This is a Forest Service road right here. So we could camp here 14 days if we wanted to. We're right on the edge of Modoc National Forest, but I think we're in Shasta Trinity National Forest right now. 30 miles northeast of Mount Shasta, California is a unique geological area that most people have never heard of. Medicine Lake Highlands. It is believed that Medicine Lake Volcano is unique in that it has many small magma chambers rather than one large chamber, making this volcano one of the largest volcanoes in the Cascade Range. Some say a sleeping giant. Medicine Lake Volcanic Area exceeds 200 square miles with more than 700 lava tubes, a vast area to explore. And this is the Jot Dean Cave. The trail. We're going to start there. Yeah, There's we're an ice cave too. So we're going to spend a few days here. So we hope to do some exploring. And anything that's cool that we find, we'll show you. Carrie, read that last sentence on that sign. It's worn and hard to read, but... There can be other occupants. What does that mean? Is that other people? Is that critters? Is that... Snakes. Is that a mountain lion? I don't know if I like that. <laughs> I don't know. That'll give us something to look for. All right. This is an exciting cave. Yeah. Hard to know where the step. There's ice everywhere. Yeah. Hopefully, don't want to rush through this one. <laughs> like, look at all that ice.
A squirrel hole? My worst nightmare. Oh. Do you see what that is? That's a snake hole. That's a snake skin. And it shedded its skin. Wow. Let me see. <laughs> There's probably a snake in there. And they picked a rock up. Ah. Find a cave? I just had the drone up and we noticed a small pond or lake just over these this lava field and we're gonna go see if we can find it hopefully before it starts raining <laughs> or it's gonna be a real short hike it didn't look like it was too far This is a pretty cool old cedar tree growing right out of the lava rock. Look how bright the boss is. It's like glowing. Oh, Rudolph, you're doing cut.
This boondocking location has a lot to offer. I really like to go and explore all the different caves and the cedar trees here. When the light hits them just right, it looks like they're glowing. A super peaceful, very relaxing area. Now the lava bed is pretty hard to hike on. So I really like that there's a forest road that goes all the way along the edge of it for like miles. Yeah. Rudel and I have been taking our morning walks on it. Just a really nice relaxing area. My second favorite thing about this is the stargazing. The night sky is absolutely amazing here. There are There is no light pollution at all. There is also a lot to do here. We're very close to Medicine Lake, mm -hmm. the Lava Beds National Monument, Glass Mountain. We've barely even scratched the surface since we've been here. Yeah, I think we could spend all summer here and not yeah. run out of stuff to do. Okay, so what you need to know if you come here. This is extremely remote. You are a, an hour away from any hospital if you were to need medical attention. Yep. So you want to be careful when you're hiking around the lava fields. There's lots of holes and big rocks. Um, if you have children or pets, keep a close eye on them. We actually have shoes for Rudel because he has cut his foot on lava rocks before. So we're taking no chances this time. Yeah. Um, what else? No so, cell reception. Yeah. We actually found one spot that has three bars of cell reception for our Verizon, but we had to look hard to find it. So pretty much count on no cell reception. Yes. Yeah. And it's actually a really good idea to let somebody know where you are. We are that remote. Yeah. Um, if you come late in the fall. Yeah, if this is probably not accessible in the wintertime at all. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't even, if you're, gonna, if you're going to go to Medicine Lake, don't even come unless it's June or later because it will be all snowed in. You won't, you won't get to see much of this area. Yeah. And then as soon as September and October hits, you're gonna to wanna to be checking the weather because it's not uncommon for a snowstorm to come through and dump two feet of snow. Yeah. So it, it's an area that needs to take uh, some caution with. Yep, right now we're at 5,000 feet. If you go up to that Medicine Lake area, you're gonna be closer to six or even 7,000 feet. Yeah. It's definitely worth a trip to come visit though. It's an awesome yeah. area. Yeah, please, if you get a chance, come visit this area. We hope you do. We hope you enjoy it as much as we do. And as always, we appreciate you watching. Happy boondocking. If you would like to support our channel, please consider becoming a patron. Or check out our new merchandise at oneadvancereatatime.com. We also have stickers available in our website store. Thank you for watching.